So I wanna share what God really strongly put on my heart this morning as I was driving to work. For Jesus to suffer for us and being beaten to disfiguration, or what many say mutilation, already knowing who would accept and not accept what he has done for us, also knowing that the world would hate him. When you mention the name Jesus, the spirits and inhabitants of this world system becomes uncomfortable. The religious spirit would attack people's mind, causing confusion and division among the churches that, that are to be built on Christ, manifesting issues on what name to use when God clearly states that it is all about the heart. It is in our heart that we confess and we receive Christ. For we know that man looks at the outward appearance, but God examines the heart. Do not make a fuss of the name, for God searches the heart of a man. He says many will honor him with their lips, but their hearts are far from mine. And many will say, I prophesy and have done miracles, and I have cast out demons in your name. But I will say, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. So the question to ask is, do you think Jesus will allow himself to be beaten almost unto death and not have pre-consequences for those who refuse to accept him? Will you save mankind from having to suffer by taking their place, knowing many will hate you and refuse to accept what you have done for them. If we believe there will be no judgment for people that refuse to accept him, this is called foolish thinking. There is an end to these evil world systems and inhabitants that conspire with the evil one to cause destruction upon this earth. Jesus suffered and paid the ultimate price for us. But since he is spirit torment for us, refusing to accept him will allow people to experience all of his suffering for eternity. The torment they are experiencing is knowing his suffering through the price that he has paid.